Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another Talia TV Cook With Me. Guys, today I'm really excited because we are going to cook authentic Louisiana crawfish etouffee girl. Guys, I'm really excited about this recipe, so let's get it going. Period. Guys, so because I reside in Georgia, these are frozen crawfish tails that I got from the grocery store. And honey, we gonna make it do what it do with this. And that's period. This is everything I'm gonna be using today, guys, for the etouffee and the crawfish. Guys, this is so appropriate for this dish today. This is courtesy of my twin sister, Tania. Thank you, girl. Guys, I was ragged on so much about my pots. Honey, I said, let me get on Amazon and order some more. So, honey, these are NutriChef. These are Diamond Blue. And, honey, we're going to make it pop off with the pretty pots today. And that's just here. Guys, on my last cooking video, my father looked at me sideways, honey, when I opened up them brown gravy packs and put in that turkey, girl. So I said, Daddy, I'm going to make you proud for the crawfish etouffee, honey. And we're going to do a New Orleans, Louisiana authentic brown gravy root baby so let's pop on guys we we put butter in there matter of fact it was the lando lakes with canola because it doesn't burn as much and you put that flour in there honey you just just turn it around just swirl it just swirl it it's gonna be smooth it's gonna be velvety it's gonna be luscious just like your girl talia baby Honey, this is only the beginning. It's going to become a mocha caramel color, honey. All right, Dad, I love you, but I don't want to hear your mouth after this, honey. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say, honey, after this room. And that's period. All right, guys, the roux is done, so we're going to add the veggies. We're going to put onion in it, garlic in it, and bell pepper. Guys, we're going to just stir it up. We're going to let those veggies just become soft and softened and translucent. There's your garlic. So guys, we're going to go ahead on and put those vegetables into the Dutch oven pot, the much larger pot, so we can get that etouffee going, girl, because we hungry. It's time to eat, girl. Here's the chicken broth. This is our liquid to put down in those hot veggies. Y'all, I know it looks a little thin and things like that, but honey, give it time. This is only the beginning, girl. Y'all, I was excited about this recipe. I haven't made this in years. Now we're going to add all of our seasoning. Now guys, this is Zatarain's uh, shrimp and crab boil. Honey, all you need is a splash in there. Just a splash. And all it adds is just that authentic, seafoody, spicy flavor. Honey, and this when things pick up. This is where things get interesting. That tomato paste, guys, is gonna help thicken up that gravy and it's gonna give it a nice, pretty red color. And as you guys can see, it's beginning to thicken up. And 
Now we're just gonna continue to just mix it and stir it until that tomato paste breaks down, guys. Look, I'm just trying to tell y'all, y'all don't have to believe nothing I see. Honey, look for yourself, child. I'm just giving y'all a closer look, y'all. Just a closer look. As you can see, it has cooked down. It's bubbling. I'm going to add a little bit of water. And what that water is doing, guys, is going to calm the dish a little bit. And it's going to thin out the gravy just a little bit. Because it's going to be extremely thick. And honey, this is when the magic happens, baby. Lord have mercy, glory to God. I'm just trying to tell y'all, y'all don't have to believe me. Just look for yourself. Guys, I know y'all wish y'all was at my house right now. And we just gonna mix it in, girl. We gonna mix it. We gonna mix it. And we ain't gonna fix it. Cause honey ain't nothing fixed. And we gonna let her do her thing, honey. She gotta cook down. And that's period. And guys, two bay leaves. Bay leaves is just gonna add a little something extra, honey. When you from New Orleans, you cook anything, you better put some bay leaf in it. Guys, we are almost to the finish line. God... Tell me God ain't good. Girl, tell me God ain't good. I'm just trying to tell you. All right, guys, here we go. We about to plate it soon and very soon. And as usual, guys, my famous rice. And if you come from New Orleans, you gotta know how to cook rice. We eat rice with everything, baby. We eat rice with cereal. That's how much we eat rice. We gonna plate it up, and we gonna get it going. And guys, there you have it. Honey, I'm telling you, it tastes better than it looks. Guys, let's just take a moment of silence. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Talia Cook With Me. Guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.